Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve question number third. You have to solve this linear equation. And in this linear equation, we have certain terms. And in this linear equation, this is a fraction. So, if you want to solve this type of linear equation, you can. You have to take the LCM. You can take the LCM first, shifting all the variables to one side and all the constant to another side. Or simply, you can take the LCM as the question is. So, let take the LCM of this question. In this case, this can be considered as 1 and this is 1. So, taking the LCM of 1, 1 and 3, so the LCM is 3. So, when 3 is divided by 1, the question will be 3. And when 3 is multiplied by x, it will give 3x. Plus, because here it is positive sign. Again, when 3 is divided by 1, the quotient will be 3. And when 3 is multiplied by 7, the answer will be 21. And when 3 is divided by 3, the quotient will be 1. And when 1 is multiplied by 8x, it will give 8x. Minus 8x, because the sign is, sign is of minus. In this case, LCM of 6 and 2 is 6. When 6 is divided by 6, the quotient will be 1. And when 1 is multiplied by 7, it will give 70. And when 6 is divided by 2, the quotient will be 3. And when 3 is multiplied by 5, it will give 15x. Again, we can solve this. Here it is 8x and here it is 3x. We can solve this. And it will come out to be minus 5 and 5x upon 3 because 8 minus 3 is 5. And this will remain as it is because here there is no common term which is a variable or which is a constant. Now we have only one fraction on both sides. So you can simply cross multiply these. So when 6 is multiplied by 21 minus 5x and when 3 is multiplied by 17 minus 15x. So this will be equal to 6 into 1 6 and 6 to the 12 and 6 5 is the 30x equals to 17 into 3 is 51 and 15 into 3 is 45x. Now, we know that how to solve this kind of linear equation. You can simply shift this constraint to that side and this, sorry, shift this variable to that side and shift this constraint to this side. So, this will give, so 126 will remain here and when positive 51 shifted to this side, will give minus 51 equals to minus 45x will remain as it is and uh, minus, 30, minus 30x shifted to that side will become positive 30x. So we can solve this. So we can subtract 51 from 126. So 6 minus 1 is 5 and 12 minus 7 is uh, 12 minus 5 is 7. And in this case 45 minus 30 is 50x. And this will be of negative sign because greater value has negative sign. So we can solve x. So the x value of x should be equal to 75 upon minus 15 because here it is multiplying x. So in this side it should divide 75. So this is actually 5 because 75 will divide by 15. It goes 5 times. So the value of x in this case must be equal to minus 5. Thank you.